Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for February, your romance reading for 2020, February 2020. Okay, it's been pretty busy with doing all the readings and they're amazing. So if this reading doesn't resonate with you, have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign. And remember, it is Valentine next week, so I'm sorry I'm a little bit late for this week, but um, the weeklies, the general readings are out, and it does take me a couple of days to do them, because they are longer than what they used to be, and they're very extensive. I hope that you enjoy your month, and obviously that you are happy in a relationship, if that is what you wish. Okay, if you are not in a relationship, I hope there will be somebody coming pretty soon. So let's have a look what kind of energy there is around you. Okie dokie, I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot, and I'm you, that's this one, and I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot and the Angel Romance deck and a card from the Metatron deck, the Angel deck, and uh, this is the all over energy for the month. Now, if you're new, welcome to this channel and I do go live every single day and please make sure that you subscribe and also hit the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live or when videos, new videos are loaded up. There is um, a, a rumor going round that YouTube is uh, sometimes deleting people. I don't know whether it's on purpose or whether it's accidental, but this is uh, this comes from viewers and from readers, as I understand, um, that they are warning their read uh, viewers that if you do not subscribe, that you might be deleted by the alpha uh, rhythm, the robot, the search robot uh, from Google. So there is something happening with the system. They're going from old to new. So to protect yourself and to always be able to find your favorite readers then please subscribe to their channels. Right, this is for Virgo. Virgo, we've got religious factors are playing uh, an issue in your love life. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or your spiritual path. So if you are Catholic, then uh, some and um, you go out with a Protestant person, for instance, then there might be some issues. Um, usually, the, this is the parents that think it is in uh, that have the issues. So perhaps that is with uh, the, the fact with you. But you know, love is stronger than issues. So try to dissolve. If there are issues in your love life with regards to how you believe or your upbringing or whatever, then remember, um, it doesn't matter how you believe because it all ends up to one thing and that's the ultimate power, whether it's called God, Zen, Buddha or Allah. Love is stronger than just words. So long you respect the law of um, the world of nature. You can't go wrong. That you also have the Ten of Pentacles. So I think you can solve that issue. Like I said, respect each other's beliefs this, uh, in all spiritual paths and your upbringing. The Ten of Pentacles means happy families, reunion with family and friends. There's a phase coming to an end, a new beginning, and you have the um, Seven of Cups. You have dreams. You have dreams and goals. Perhaps you have dreams of coming together and balancing out this belief of spirituality or upbringing. Just respect who you are. You, uh, you are loved for who you are not for what you've got. That is what I hope. Um, and that is what actually the Ten of Pentacles means. 
you might be getting a windfall, you might be getting a promotion, and that could also enhance um, a relationship because if you haven't got enough money, you can't get married or sustain a family. So that could be also an upbringing. The upbringing could be, yes, there should be enough money. I don't want to be in debt. That is really true. So talk it out and plan. Plan so that you have got enough money so that you can be one big happy family. You can dream, but make the dreams realistic. That's the seven of cups. In the second week, you've got finance and career. Financial issues are a focus in your love life. Right now, what was I saying? And I hadn't even seen this card, I swear. So there is news coming because you've got the Knight of Wands. This could be actually a job, a promotion. You will be receiving news. When you get this news, act upon it directly and swiftly. Don't let it pass you by. If you are looking for love, then you could be meeting a new love. And that could be the Knight of Wands, whether it's a woman or a man. This deck doesn't have any men. You don't see the faces of men. Because this deck, the Enchanted Dreams Tarot, is honouring our female side and the woman. We have all masculine and feminine within us. So you could be meeting, if you're a man or if you love a woman, the same sex, then you could be meeting your fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Okay, Virgo. <clears throat> you might even be planning to get married. Boom. Because look, we've got the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is somebody that high priest is called in some decks. So you might be getting married because he marries people, okay? You might go to the um, registry office. That is also municipality, it's, uh, institutions. That is what he is, the head of an institution, the church. So you could, this card represents advisors, uh, institutions, municipalities. Munis municipalities are governments institutions like the registry office you might be seeking advice from uh, a, a professional man or a mature man like a father figure so you might be asking a father for the hand in marriage of his daughter boom isn't that one awesome all old-fashioned things are coming back right um or you might be actually going to the registry office in the second week or you might be uh, getting proposed to but you have to take note of your financial situation but like I said you might have come into money um, because you've got the ten of pentacles so now perhaps you can get married great stuff Yahoo! great stuff getting to know each other yes keep the communication going know what the other one wants and respect that like i said the respect of um, um nature of the earth like mother earth and father sky and grandmother moon okay so talk about it talk what you want know your boundaries and know their boundaries as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yes and we've got the hermit here and the page of wands so fire signs are quite imminent in this reading again you're getting news this could come from a young person uh, around a teenager around 17 16 to 25 if i have to give it a, an uh, give a, an age but take it easy take it slow step by step as the hermit also walks his path, he doesn't have a chariot, he doesn't have a car, okay? So step by step, learn, take time out, meditate or sit quietly and listen to your intuition and the ideas that come into your head. They are giving you spiritual messages, your messages from yourself, your life experience, 
your knowledge so you don't go and do the same mistakes as in the past. Also be wise. Um, um, you've got two spiritual people that are standing next to each other. So if you ask me, am I going to get married or am I going to get proposed to? Then I would say, yes, there's 75% chance that you will get proposed to this month because it is quite imminent that there is something spiritual between you two. It is quite imminent that there is a lot of spirituality um, in the reading, spiritual connections, spiritual thoughts, spiritual beliefs. Don't let it be an issue. We started it off the, uh, the month with spiritual issues or upbringing. So try to get over that by communicating because there is an ending and a new beginning and I think your faith in yourself will give you that new beginning and the ideas to get together permanently for long term but you must act swiftly when you get this news again take time out the four of swords perhaps take time out for yourself and the other because that you um, you will get to know each other and know what the other one wishes and how and when and blah 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 so i wish you good luck with that and again you've got past life relationships you might have known each other in a previous life if you believe in that or you uh, earlier on in your life there is a spiritual connection like i said and I say it before I actually see the cards, that's amazing. And again, you've got the Four of Swords. That is also the card of rest, a retreat. Sit quietly and meditate or listen to your intuition. It is also the card of rest. So after you've taken this action, you need to take rest. Uh, rest okay and evaluate the situation from time to time in the beginning and at the end and learn take your knowledge and your life experience don't repeat the mistakes that you have made in the past and you again you've got the sun of ones so you've got the night of ones again at the end of the month in the fourth week you will receive news act upon it this could be a promotion this could be a job don't if don't let this passion be just passion let it grow to love know your boundaries of each other and what you want that is important know and talk about it evaluate it together in peace on mutual ground that's the best so that you don't have influence from friends or family now we've got the emperor the emperor is also a fire sign that is aries so you might even go to um the emperor is the same as the high priest an advisor he stands for an advisor a mature man or a father figure could be also professional so seek advice uh, from somebody that can give you the, the right advice, whether it is for marriage or contracts or um, how to deal with different uh, nationalities, different beliefs, different upbringings. You can, you can get together, but you'll have to work for it so that it's not just passion. Perhaps you might have to prove that it is a long-term relationship that you both want, the Ten of Pentacles, and that you are not going to burn out either of you. We've got the Knight here and we've got a lady depicted here, okay? Although there is no face to it because the author is really literally honoring our feminine and nurturing side and the woman. This is dedicated to the female. Sorry. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. 
you I'm, I've got this feeling you are going to get what you want but it takes work and it takes step for step slow but surely like the pentacles growing towards something and taking time out together and in yourself and heal heal perhaps one of you has to heal from the past because i'm keeping on saying don't let the past repeat learn from the past your life experiences and decisions then we've got the metatron card and you've got a 10 again a 10 you might have known each other and got separated because of spiritual uh, differences or upbringing work it out you've got 10 an end of a phase a new beginning the road is free and long and swirly you'll have your ups and downs like everybody else but the new dawn is breaking and it says welcome back so there might be somebody coming back from the past absolutely awesome uh, virgo so remember communicate take time out grow towards each other talk about what you want so that you do not burn this relationship or yourself or the other i love you all and stay stable because you are in your element take care and i love you all Ciao, ciao. Sorry, Virgo, just before I go, I would like to say you are in your element. I forgot. Just be when I clicked on the pause button, I saw the hermit, and the hermit is you, okay? The hermit is also represents uh, um, the Virgo, and you've got your earth sign there. So, Work it out. You are very stable and sure. Take care. Be blessed. And I hope you like it. And please share with family and friends and give the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Until tonight.